this is the new iPad 2018. It gives you an A10 Fusion chip instead of the A9 chip that was in last year's budget $329 iPad. The differences are huge. The older 2017 iPad was a dual core A9 chip. This newest iPad is an A10. And as you can see, here are the processor specs. The 2018 iPad is literally twice as powerful as last year's model. So you're getting a lot more power for the same amount of money. So here is all of the DAWs basically on the iOS platform, except for one. There is a DAW known as Intrac 9. It also has a desktop app that has a terrible reputation. But honestly, on iOS, I have it on the older 2017 iPad. It works great. Version 7 and 8 were kind of eh, iffy, but version 9 is really great, and it's the cheapest DAW of them all. And plugins work as you would understand them on a desktop. But the other two major contenders besides Apple's very own GarageBand are Aria Pro, as you can see here in the bottom right hand corner, and Cubasis. My personal favorite so far has been Cubasis because it's just logical for me. Now, I've been playing around here a little bit, but um, let's have a listen to see if the audio is coming through. So as you can hear, there are multi-track audio, just as you would you would see in your DAW on your desktop. You also have a mixer, just as you would on the desktop. And you also have insert effects. The Cubasis app is really awesome. The simple fact that the channel strip it has that's built in is, as you can see here below, it has a set of filters, a noise gate, a compressor, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's really utilitarian in design. So it's not meant to be, you know, the greatest sounding compressor of all time. It's just meant to work. What I like is there's a saturator as well. So you can give it a little tape saturation or a little tube saturation. So let's do that with the drums here for a minute. First, we'll compress some. Let me get to the right channel strip. Now let's try a little saturation. Now two. Now, besides that, you have a studio EQ. These are on every channel, always. When you make a new channel, you have the channel strip and the studio EQ. And you can reverse them by hitting the little white italics here next to channel strip. That's great. You have a studio EQ. It works as any DAW EQ would work. There are also audio units now on OS 10, or I mean, not OS 10, excuse me, iOS. And there are a plethora, and some you know and some you don't, you haven't used on the desktop, like audio damage. A lot of us have the Rough Rider and Fuzz Plus 3 on the desktop. Now we have it as well in iOS. There are other great companies like Amazing Noises, um, the Fred Anton, also 
Clev Grand, the uh, Swedish company, I think they are. There is also Tone Bridge. This Zmore EQ gives you the functionality of a great EQ. Now, if you choose to go for your iOS DAW as Aria and you're a huge fan of FabFilter, they have all of the FabFilter plugins you use on desktop in Aria. They're priced at between $29 and $39 each. So it's a little high when you think about it compared to like this Zmore EQ, which was, I think, $399 or $499. <laughs> It's so cheap to, to make music on, on iOS. So let's start us a new project, right? We'll start a new project and we'll call it test. Okay. Now we're in the test project. Let's add a track, a MIDI track. Okay. Now it comes with built-in sounds. If you want to use those or you can use what's really awesome is your audio unit instruments. You can use the built-in instruments which are microsonic microlog or the mini sampler there's also some add-on drum machines you can buy but you can use your audio units as well i have arturia's icm which is basically the arturia sim the audio damage phosphor 2 which i have on the desktop and i love that love it it's an additive fm type synthesizer but it's very different from a dx7 Probably the best synthesizer I've ever heard is right below Phosphorus 2. It's Beep Street's Xeon. This synthesizer for live usage is probably one of the best you will ever, ever, ever use. I promise you, if you buy an iPad for nothing else, get Xeon and Thor and go play live with them. You will thank me later. I promise you. There's Centronic by IK Multimedia. Cura Qtex KQ Dixie, which is basically a DX7. Sugar Bites Unique, which I think I have the iPhone version because it was a little cheaper. Um, Yamaha has FM Essentials and then Yonix Cauldron. There is also InterApp Audio, which you can see here is numerous more um, options. Yonix Magellan, Mini Synth, um, the iTuttle, uh, the Sunriser from Beep Street as well. SM Player, PPG from Wolf Palm, who invented Wavetable Synthesis, has a, all of his synthesizers on this platform. Um, Electro Harmonics is Mini Synth. You also have what's called Inner App Audio, so you can route audio from an app into your DAW. There's also things like Audio Bus and Chimatica's AUM Mixer. These are just ways of getting audio or MIDI from an app into your DAW if it's not an audio unit. Probably the best synthesizer I've used for the iPhone so far has been the Animoog for iPhone. This thing is just wickedly crazy amazing. You think, well, that, that sounds kind of boring, Joe. Yeah, it is kind of boring. But when you run across certain patches that just sound amazing, Okay, what happened here? What did I do wrong? This synthesizer, there's an iPad version which gives you the full, this one it was the iPhone version. I bought it to test it out. I'm gonna pick this up for sure. But uh, Moog has a, a bunch of great apps. They have their Model 15. They also have the uh, Model D, which is the Moog that we all know and love. Um, audio units work a little differently. They come up in the option menu. You can pull up the mixer. So basically you can use it that way. Now you can also have audio tracks. So let's open an audio track and you have your normal insert effects, your channel strip, your EQ. But if you want to do some tracking, you can pull up, you know, something like, oh, I don't know, uh, tone bridge and track a guitar with it very easy uh varisense audio reverb bark filter i mean there's all kinds of options so you could make a record very easily on ios with you could do it with GarageBand. if you're very familiar with logic you'll love GarageBand. so let's move out of cubasis and open aria aria is a different kind of daw 
more geared toward the Pro Tools type user. It's a very, very cool DAW. It has a channel strip on every channel made by PSP Audioware. If you use desktop DAWs, you should know who PSP is. It's great. You can also use your audio units in this app as well. And as you can see, they're all here. You can add any of them into your projects. You can also use InterApp Audio and Audio Bus. There are also other uh, plugins you can get as well. If you go into the Aria store, you can see the plugins available and here are the prices. Uh, you have like Drumagog for drum replacement, PSP Echo. They range from anywhere between $10 and $40 for the plugins. And as I was saying before, there is the Fab Filter. Now in Aria, when you buy Aria Pro, the highest, you can get two different versions of Aria. One is $24.99 and doesn't support MIDI. One is $49.99, supports MIDI and gives you the Fab Filter Twin Synthesizer and Fab Filter One Synthesizer. But if you're an avid user of Fab Filter and you're only recording, you know, 30 to 60 tracks of audio and maybe a MIDI or two, an iPad might be the way to go if you really want to do some just home based recording instead of spending thousands of dollars on a Mac. You can buy the like Fab Filter Pro Q is normally what, 149 to 199 You can get it here for $29.99. You can also get the older versions. They're the same price, but there are other companies like FX Expansion, um, Overloud for guitar players, Sugar Bites, and PSP. And as I'm hearing from the Aria people, a lot more. You also have a bunch of free samples you can get, mostly pianos and drum kits. Um, there are a few that are 10 bucks a piece. There are IR files for the uh, impulse reverb there are add-ons if you want to do video import um synth presets or also demo projects but all your works really great where do i start my approach if i don't know if you dig a fella like me i ain't no superstar and baby i sh so as you can see it's really easy to work with audio and aria and it works just like you would want it to and the touch option is great so if that's something you would like to do this may be something you're into there's also audio evolution if you're just into recording audio this may be an option for you it has plugins as well some are from tone booster some of you may know tone booster from the desktop as well these plugins work just the same as do their desktop counterparts there are also built-in plugins and you can also use audio units in here in audio evolution the pro version of audio evolution records up to i think 32 tracks at a time and it's 799 there's a free version so you can go download it or record up to three tracks at a time so that's maybe an option if you're on a really tight budget and have an ipad laying around um, if you're more into the dance world, there's FL Studio Mobile. Really cool for live synthesizers. If you just want to use uh, it as a way to play live synthesizers or uh, keyboards live, this is a great option. Um, let's see. Let's pull up a demo project here. I really like the way FL is set up as far as the interface goes. These are the built-in plugins. You can use InterApp Audio or Audio Bus. No audio units in FL Studio Mobile yet, but it may come very soon. If you're an FL Studio user on the desktop, you can demo this with the FL Studio plugin. It's Windows only, but it does work on iOS and it's $14. So if you're into dance music, hey, this may be the option for you. Now, 
if you just want to record your band live like we all did in the 80s 70s 80s and 90s when we used to take the rca outs of our console and shove them into a tape deck buying tapes blank tapes at walmart or our local dollar general and recording practice just to listen back hey there's a better option now if you have a digital console like even the budget uh, x air models that do multi-track in and out personas has capture capture will work as a multi-track recorder only it records you you can't use any plugins or anything it works just like the desktop capture app but it records directly to your ipad which is wonderful if you just want to record band practice and then mix down or play it back to listen to parts separated so like if you hear somebody's playing the wrong notes and they don't notice and you want to show them or if you just need to listen to your part to make it better for a live situation capture is 999 and it's a great option now there are numerous options for not only recording but playing live using an ios device such as an ipad now here we have basically logic light <laughs> garage band on the ipad it's it works just as any of the other apps do you can record it has built-in instruments there is also some extra sounds that you can uh, download i think i've downloaded them all we'll go to more keyboard sounds just so you can see what there is these are packs uh more drummers uh guitar uh amp presets there are also numerous styles that you can download and it works really really well so GarageBand is an option that automatically comes free with the iPad. You have Drummer just as you do in GarageBand or Logic. So you, if you just want to record demos by yourself, this is probably your best option. I, I don't even really know what that is, but okay. Um, <laughs> let's go back out here. Um, you can play keyboards with this live you can also use it as a live guitar amplifier if you are in a pinch and need a guitar amp you've got one built in your ipad just download the app it's free there are also really great synthesizers so you have the let me go back out here i want to play alchemy i want to play it like a real person does with keys and not fakery as you can see you have options if you hit where the presets at you can choose different uh, sounds from different keyboards here we go We've got different keyboards from electric piano alchemy uh, classic synths synth bass synth leads pads effect, uh, effects also others like french horn and uh, guitars and bass and all that great stuff cool thing about alchemy is you really have edit real editing options it's not like you're stuck with the preset and that's all you have you, you can get pretty deep into GarageBand for ios it's an amazing app get it today and use it so i'm going to be going more in depth with each one of these daws if you're interested in ios music making be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. We've got some really cool stuff coming up very, very soon. Have a great day, you all, and we'll see you next time.